Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're live in Evanston, Illinois, and this crowd's been fired up for the start of this game, and it shows as the players take the field. Stevens is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. Signals for a fair catch. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. on that run. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. situation as you can see with good reason first and ten ball on the 36 receiver to come down with that ball. They line up at the 13. First down. Zips it to the tight end. 
the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 23-yard line, second down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. That penalty will move them back a Still bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. There. there wasn't anybody near him at all. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 80-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play call in with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Play. The Hawkeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, Carter. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's taken down at the 33. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it to the 35-yard line.
is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. and make a tackle. Bostic is back to receive. He punts. No, he won't. Here's an opening. You can bet that the quarterback is smiling over there on the sidelines. Let's see if they do something with the ball now that they have another shot. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. to go, but at the end of one, Iowa's lead is a touchdown. play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws incomplete. So it's fourth down. What do you think they're going to do here? At this point in the game, they might as well go for it. They won't lose much field position if they don't get it, and they only have a couple yards to go. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for them last time. i got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just punt this ball away. And 
this is the 16th play of the drive. coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds this is the 18th play of this drive they come out in a five wide set he's on the run he rolls out to the right runs with it and he's got room third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Through the air, made it first 
and ten. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. Going for it all to the end zone. It's a great tackle. And it's caught. taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. All it takes, right, as you said, is one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Man, look. 
from the 15 yard line. First down. Play is number eight on the drive. their second of the half. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. two quarters. We're deadlocked right now at 14. And we welcome you back to the action here just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's tackled the 23 yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that.
Saints hoping for another sack here on third and long. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 37. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Seven-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. He airs it out. This one is by the way. He really came up with a save by. 
by getting a hand on the ball. That has big play written all over it. Second down and 11. Ball on the 39-yard line. He 
scramble. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. He's on the runs. Back to 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Now he's scrambling under heavy pressure. And they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Now he tries to buy some time. He sails it long. Their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Back down around the four yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Play action. Looking for the corner. Nice grab on the play. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two yard line. to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Makes it out to about the 33. Looks to his 
receiver, first down. He's tackled right around the 46 yard line. Seven-yard line. Vines gains four yards on that reception. He did not get to the first down marker. Try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Didn't get all of that one. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. and maybe the 20-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. than three minutes in the game. He's 
garbage time out of the half. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Decision to take off there. Northwestern's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the tenth play of this drive. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. And here we go. This kicker has a chance to be a hero. It's up. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.